So welcome to day 14 of my video challenge, and today is the first of many interviews. I'm with my good friend Alan Carter, who's just celebrated his 78th birthday, and has been living in Lima, I think, even longer than I have. No, well, yes, 10 years. So what brought you to Peru in the first place, Mr. Carter? Well, I came in 2009 when I had retired, and I'd always wanted to come to Peru. When I was uh, doing my O-level English many, many years ago, uh, set book was um, uh, Thorhead as um, Pontiki and he set sail from Callao in, in, in Lima and so he was sort of my hero and I also got very interested in archaeology so I wanted to come uh, I came for three weeks and I did a fantastic tour um, cost a bit but I had money in those days and I basically went everywhere. Well, not, not everywhere. I went to Machu Picchu, went to uh, uh, North, to uh, Mancora, to... Uh, where is the place where you used to live? Trujillo. Trujillo. I went there, because you've got Chan Chan there, and the Playa de... Playa. The Huaca de, um, de la Luna. And, uh, Huaca de la Luna. Uh, went to Cusco, went to Arequipa, which I thought was fantastic. So I loved it. And um, in 2011, I got divorced. 2012, I got divorced from my wife of 44 years. And I wanted to get out of the country uh, for a while. I didn't plan to stay for 10 years, but um, I thought I'll just go there and live there for a bit and settle down because when you've been married for 44 years, it's quite a, it's quite something to actually get divorced. So that's how I came to be here, and sort of three years led into six years, which led into ten years. What's the best thing about living in Peru? Well, I think it's the opportunity to be able to go to some fantastic places. I, I've been a mountaineer all my life. I, I went to Canada and uh, at university there, and I climbed some big mountains, but here they've got really big mountains. And I love the archaeology. And because of Thor Heyerdahl and his... Uh, he was trying to prove that Polynesia was settled from the American continent and that people had come down from Alaska, British Columbia, down the coast and then eventually gone over to Easter Island and Polynesia. Uh, it turns out that he was partially right. Uh, some genetic evidence has shown that there is a strain of Peruvian blood in, in the Polynesians, but the majority of them came from uh, uh, the Southeast Asian continent. Um, why am I talking about this? I forgot. Mm. Best thing about living in Peru. The uh, best thing about living in Peru is the opportunity to go to fantastic archaeology, beautiful mountains, the sea, and uh, the climate is better on average than in Peru. Awesome. Yeah. And what advice would you give to anyone coming to Peru for the first time? For the first time? It depends what they're interested in. Most people go to Cusco, uh, and they, they go to Machu Picchu, which is great. But what is sad is that three miles, three hours from Lima in a bus is, a, is the oldest archaeology in, America, in the Americas, by a long way. People think of the pyramids of Mexico, but they're only about a thousand, a two thousand, two and a half thousand most years old. Three hours from uh, Lima, there's Caral, which is, and the pyramids there are 4,600 years old, and they're as old as uh, Egypt. They're not like the Egyptian pyramids, they're not nearly as big, but they're 130 feet high, 40 meters high, and it's fantastic. And there's whackers all over the place. Wacker is a sort of uh, ancient pyramid type thing. Um, yeah, so that's, that's sad. And for anyone knowing you watching this video, what would you like to say to them? Well, who's going to be watching? I don't know. <laughs> it's going live. It's going live on YouTube and on Twitter oh, and right. Facebook. It's going everywhere. Well, I used to be an athlete. You wanted me to talk about athletics. Uh, I don't usually talk about it. I was British champion from 1963 to 1966. Which sport? In athletics, shot putting. Uh, I was definitely well before drugs, although my teammate eventually went to the Mexico Olympic Games. I didn't because I got injured just before. And uh, in 1966, I beat him by two or three meters. Uh, but then I got injured. He went to Mexico 
but he was caught, uh, he was eight. Uh, but he got caught taking drugs. And I refused to take drugs. Um, so I had a good athletics career. Uh, but I didn't reach my potential, must be said. But I had 19 internationals. Do you regret not taking drugs? Good question. <laughs> What's the point of taking drugs and doing something artificial? I'm not interested in that. I'm glad to see that the current world champion, Ryan Krauss, I don't believe he's on drugs. He's huge. He's worked really hard on getting big and strong, but I don't believe he's on drugs. And the world, but the world record for many, many years, which he's just beaten, was taken by drug takers. What is the world record? It's 23 meters 30 odd, I did only through 18, 19, well, 1860. Uh, but I was 16 stone six, quite light, very fast, and I was 20. I, I mean, um, shoppers don't mature until about 28. But um, I wanted to do other things. I went to Canada, climbed mountains, uh, did those sorts of things. Have you climbed any mountains in Peru? No, I'm too old. Too old now? I mean, I've been to, I've been on the road, I've been quite high. <laughs> yeah, I went to, uh, what's the name, Colca Canyon. And you go over, it's almost 16,000 feet high at the pass. And that's quite, quite something. Um, so no, I wish I'd come when I was younger. Uh, I really do. I didn't really think about Peru and mountains then. So there are 6,800 meters of mountains in Peru. Fantastic. And there we go. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're welcome.